Hi, I'm Elle, and today we're going to be having a chat about Thomas Halbert, since he came out and said that he would finally release his uh, Get Ready With Me at 7pm GMT or 12pm PST. When I went to check his Twitter, I was a bit irritated. The last thing that is up there is a retweet of himself, which says, Hi, this has been driving me crazy to talk about, but I think I'm pansexual. Okay, thanks. Talk to you later. Why would I possibly be annoyed by that? That's fair enough. If he's pansexual, that's great. It's always a good thing when somebody realises the truth about themselves, their sexuality, all of it. The problem is that we know exactly how calculated Thomas is, and I genuinely believe that he has come out with this right now to deflect from exactly what he has done. To be quite honest, I don't care if Thomas Halbert is gay, bisexual, pansexual, asexual, or if he can only get it up for trees. None of that is relevant in the slightest. What it is is a blatant manipulative ploy to try and get extra support for himself. Now, if you are totally confused about Thomas Halbert or what's going on, I've already pimped out Beauty Sleuth Official's videos on the whole situation, but I'm going to do that again. If you go down into the description box, I will link both of those videos just so you're caught up. Awesome. Obviously, as of this moment, his so-called I want to hold myself accountable video is gone, as is the much earlier video which contradicts his story about Jeffree Star, as well as all the receipts that he put out on Twitter. Because, as we should all know now, Thomas Halbert loves to tweet and delete. If you look at his Twitter, there's a massive gap between the 14th of October and the 25th of October, thanks to all this drama. Thomas put out a series of tweets, which read, I would hope that what I stand for and what I stood for for many years online and offline would be proof enough of how much I've grown as a human when it comes to social issues. I've never tried to hide or ignore my past and have always been open about it in interviews and podcasts. What I said as a preteen was dumb, misguided, uneducated and yet another example of a white kid being oblivious to their privilege and the severity of certain words. I've changed since then and have made a conscious effort to be a better person since then. I hope you see that. I was going to wait till I address this in my video, but it's been driving me crazy. I'm sorry for ever being that idiotic and I'm sorry you feel betrayed. I hope what I stand for now and what I stood for since then shows you I am not that person, nor will I ever be that again. Also, you can call me fake, woke, virtue signalling all you want. I am not going to stop using my platform to bring awareness to social issues at hand. They are important and they need to be talked about, and I'll continue to educate myself and grow as a person. Obviously, those tweets are gone now because it's Thomas Halbert and he loves to tweet and delete. What is still up is this. Just wanted to let the people who actually still care about me know that I get Wi-Fi in my new apartment in six days. I'll have a video up by then. I've been moving and trying to deal with all this privately before I deal with it publicly. I love you guys. I made my fair share of mistakes and honestly gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I hit a low point and I'm sorry for failing you and so many people who cared supported me. But I am working on it and will make you proud, I promise. We all know what that is. That's manipulative. I'm sure that Thomas is doing well enough for himself that he can buy his own very tiny violin, so let's not rush to GoFundMe just yet. The thing is, what really gets me is that he explicitly says that he wants to try and deal with this privately before he deals with it publicly. But it seems to me that he can't have had that much time to really reflect on anything, considering how obsessive he's been over Twitter. As always, Thomas has been on to tweet and delete. He's been on to block anyone that criticises him, to unfollow people, to follow new people. 
And that's all a sign of somebody who has taken this seriously. When the first drama Geddon happened, at least the likes of Manny and Laura took a break from social media to at least appear as though they were trying to think about what they did and how to improve themselves as people. It doesn't actually matter whether they did that or whether they didn't. What matters is the appearance that they put out. Worst case scenario, and they don't actually care, at least they pretended and took a break from social media, right? Let's have a look at Thomas Halbert's Twitter together. Before the drama started, the last tweet that Thomas put out was a joke response to somebody else about bread, because why not, I guess. Then there are the tweets that I've just read out to you. There, you can see Thomas announces Get Ready With Me, which was supposed to be up on Monday the 29th of October, but we're still waiting. But even there, he's tweeting it like a joke. And look here. I already spoke my truth. However, I was a dipshit and a hypocrite and deserved to be roasted for it. Being a hypocrite when he used the N-word and when he was outed as admitting that he was racist in the past was absolutely hypocritical and disgusting of him. But the problem here is that he is dismissing the seriousness of his actions as a joke, as him being a dipshit. No, we're not going to do that. Thomas was manipulative. He wanted to get revenge against Manny MUA. He betrayed his friend here for the tea. He lied to Nikita Dragon. He lied about Nikki Tutorials, Laura Lee and Jeffree Star. But the worst thing about this is that he weaponized racism. He used racism as a tool. For me, this isn't even about Jeffrey or even Thomas Halbert being manipulative and a snake. For me, it's about Thomas Halbert pretending to care about racism that minorities face and then treating it like a joke. Do you know who I honestly feel the most for in this situation? Here for the tea and every racial and ethnic minority individual that heard about this drama. I believe Here for the Tea genuinely cared about Thomas. They were friends for over two years and she obviously believed him because, well, you would believe your friend. And to hear that she had been betrayed by him to Jeffrey Star, who she cannot stand, if I were in her position, I would be absolutely devastated. But aside from that, and more importantly, altogether, the racial and ethnic minorities that heard this, the people who were outraged, hurt, upset, riled up, the people who cried, who shouted, who were devastated themselves, Thomas did that to them for absolutely no reason. The only reason that he had for this was pure revenge. He was more than happy to lie about racism and bullying just because he was annoyed, because he thought it would make him look good. And that kind of abuse of racism and minorities, for me, is absolutely disgraceful. Maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but I believe that people who weaponize racism like this and lie about racism for their own game are just as bad as people who will shout racial slurs and abuse minorities. They're both kinds of abuse towards minorities after all. Let's be real. What I hate the most about this is that when you realise how serious it is altogether, all the different layers and betrayals and lies, Thomas is still out there on social media tweeting it like it's a joke. For example, Thomas tweeted, Legend has it, if you repeat toupee bitch three times in the mirror of your bathroom, a snake appears. Oh yes, because making light of racism, making false accusations, that's just a joke. Ha ha, Thomas the Snake, so relatable. I don't think so. It's not funny. It's not clever. And to me, that proves that Thomas Halbert does not care, he was only sorry that he was caught out and that there were receipts to prove that he lied. He tweeted and deleted about others calling him fake woke, but in my opinion, his actions on social media prove it. A real ally would look back, be disgusted that they treated people that they say they care about the way that he has, and then genuinely want to apologise. 
Obviously, his video is not up yet, but in light of how he has treated his social media, whether he decides to go on screen crying and desperately begging for forgiveness, I don't think that will be genuine at all. Because if he was genuine, he wouldn't be making jokes about it on his Twitter. And just remember, his last tweet is about his sexuality. Again, if he is genuinely pansexual, good for him. But that is absolutely, in my opinion, being used as a shield to try and protect himself. Because for some reason, there are still a lot of people out there who are willing to stand for him or will make excuses or hope that he grows just because he has a past. I'm sorry, as the old saying goes, cool motive, still murder. A past does not give free reign to behave abysmally. Sorry guys, but I'm not buying that snake oil. Obviously, these are just some of my quick thoughts before Thomas Halbert's video drops, so if you want to have a discussion in the comments, that would be great. Different opinions are more than welcome. So now that we're done, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, or don't do any of those things because I'm not your mother. And as we say in The Sims, dag dag.